Hey, hello everyone. This is Brian Barnhouse, and um, I've been get uh, been getting quite a few emails and stuff about people having problem um, viewing all of the ads on their screen, and they're having to scroll and scroll around just to be able to see all the ads. So I thought I'd make this video for you, and what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to change your display settings so you can see all your ads, and then I'm also going to uh, show you something else that might be part of the problem as well. So the first thing you want to do to dis to change your display settings is click your start button at the lower left, then uh, uh, go to your control panel. Uh, you'll see the control panel window pop up, so then you want to click on the display icon right here. Okay, Just double click that, a new window will pop up. Um, you want to click the settings tab right here and then you'll see the screen resolution and so I'm uh, I don't know what yours will be set at I actually purposely turned mine down for this demonstration but uh, you want to just slide it up and I would go with at least 1280 by 800 okay for this demonstration I'm going to use 1280 by 960 now um, I'm using uh, Windows XP so I mean depending on what um, exact system you're using this may be different okay but but f uh, for this uh, demonstration I am using Windows XP and I'm going to turn my settings well here I'll turn it down one I know most computers will go uh, to 1200 by 800 so um, so we're going to go to at least 1280 by 800 okay so then click the apply button your window will go black for a second and then you can click the OK and then you can close your control panel and I will be r uh, right back I'll have to restart my uh, video recorder uh, just because of the uh, changed um, um, settings so I'll be right back okay hi guys I'm back here and uh, now uh, you see my screen with the 1280 by 800 screen settings and there's one other thing that I want to show you real quick okay this is what it'll look like um, there's also something else you can do because as you can see right here we still don't have the top and bottom quite right okay so if you have a bunch of toolbars like I have up here you can actually get rid of some of them and that'll actually free up some of your screen space as well so um, and, and how you do this okay so let's look let's look at mine uh, Let's look at my uh, toolbars real quick here. Let me adjust this so you can see it. <clears throat> As you can see, I have a uh, bookmarks toolbar right here. I have my RoboForm toolbar. I have a Google toolbar. Um, you know, we can get we can get rid of all of those to to uh, free up some more space too. Okay, so how you do that is on your File Edit View History Bookmarks Tools Help section right here. Just go anywhere on that bar and then give a right click to your mouse and then you'll see all the different bars that you have going on here so I'm going to get rid of the Google toolbar I'm going to get rid of my RoboForm toolbar and I'll even get rid of my bookmarks toolbar okay so now as you can see that freed up a lot more space for me so now I'm going to do some ads Oh, now here. Now let me tell you this too. On on these uh, display settings that we just changed, and um, the toolbar settings we just changed. If if you don't like these settings when you're just using your computer normally, go ahead and change back to whatever settings you're comfortable with. Okay. So like when I'm doing my regular um, work for my sites, I want my Google toolbar. I want my RoboForm. I want my bookmarks toolbar, so I'll add them back when I'm done, uh, you know, viewing ads at AdFlasher. So now, I'm just going to uh, view some ads, and now, as you can see, all the ads are in my screen now, and you'll see some of them turn yellow, and then eventually you'll see a countdown begin on one of the ads. Okay, right there. So you want to hurry up and click and click on that countdown now you may not have noticed but I actually had to double click that one because the first click didn't go through so you gotta kinda pay attention 
and it does go quick you only have four seconds to click on that ad now so when you click on the countdown a new uh, kind of window will pop up and it'll be the ad that they want you to view and I would look at it you know you're being you're being paid to you know look at these ads so I mean give it give uh, the ad your consideration someone is actually paying you to look at this so and uh, you know these are pretty good deals for magazines so now once the ad is loaded and you're done looking at it then you'd come up here on the top right and click the close button and then the process will start over again there's the countdown I want to get down there and click it real quick oh guess what I didn't I didn't get it clicked in time so what happens sorry the countdown reached zero you must click on the boxes that are counting down before they reach zero you may try again or return to your account okay I'll try again so I'll just click that so it's no big deal if you miss one so you'll see the yellow flashing again and you just wait for the countdown there's the countdown I'm going to click on it and then the new ad will pop up that they want me to view I've actually seen this one quite a few times before it sounds kind of fun my kids would like it I'm sure okay so I'm gonna click done or close excuse me oh counting down came a little quicker click on it <coughs> So again, wait for the ad to completely load, and uh, take a look at it. You know, see what they're offering. And then, when you're done looking at the ad, just click the close button again when the ad is loaded. and then you'll see it come you know when you have successfully completed it it say you may continue or return to your account so if you want to look at another ad you can do that um, but that's the basics of getting all your ads in your screen which is something you certainly want because you want to be able to see each box so you know exactly when that countdown begins because you're simply looking for that countdown and then clicking on that countdown um, so you can view the ad and then uh, you know get and that's how you get paid. So, so I hope this video helps, um, and I'll see you on the next video.